Alright, here, along the way, like I saw on Whitey, I know I am the only person who cares about this, but, uh, just for my own sake, I need to play me some, uh, some Go Fashion Tecmo Super Bowl 3. And it's been a while, so I'm just gonna take a Brief glance at the numbers. Oh, those are gorgeous. Kramer's on fire! That's all I need to know. Let's go play some football. Alright. Yes, yes. Football! Why, with the Super Bowl coming around the corner, who will win? Uh, anybody curious? I like Joe Burrow. I like the Bengals. I want to see them get it. At the same time, Stafford, man, he's paid his dues. I hope he gets one. It'd be nice, man, Stafford out there. All those years of trudging for the Detroit Lions, uh, it'd be nice to see Matthew Stafford get a championship in a ring. You know, when, and with all the uh, old timers retiring, um. You know, Matt Stafford's uh, kind of in that similar class, not quite as far back as Roethlisberger and, of course, uh, Tom Brady. But Matt Stafford, you know, he's tip, he's paid his dues, so I hope he gets one. And then you pretty much got home slice over to Atlanta, and I think that's about it. I don't even know if he's there. I only kind of a cursory fall of the NFL anymore. There's been so much drama and BS. It's, you know, as I said before, as a Bears fan, not been a lot to root for lately. That was poorly executed. On my part. That was crap. Um. So yeah, I hope Stafford gets one. I'm rooting for. I'm rooting, not rooting for uh, even his team. I'm just rooting for Stafford. And then uh, I hope Joe Burrow gets the next one. Let the whipper snapper uh, get that next year. So, uh, yeah, hey, if you're not familiar with Tecmo, what? Tecmo football, you never heard? What? Um, this game here came out in 95. The first Tecmo came out on regular Nintendo. This is on Super Nintendo. And, uh,. It's been gradual upgrades uh, since. It was a successful game. It was a popular game. So after Tecmo Bowl came out on regular Nintendo, Tecmo Super Bowl, which is uh, lying around here somewhere, uh, came out on Super Nintendo, and Super Nintendo became a thing. Tecmo Super Bowl 2, which is awesome, is my favorite. Um, they really nailed it on that one. And so this is, of course, 3. And uh, this year was like the best freaking year the Bears ever had offensively. <laughs> Pretty much Eric Kramer was wow, red hot for most of the year. What? Had a couple down games, but just one of the, if not the best, definitely. And the one or two best seasons the Bears have ever had a quarterback. Arguably, Cutler put up more numbers in whatever year it was. They broke some of Kramer's records that were longstanding. Mm -hmm. But, different era. You know, this is 1995. The league is still pretty much run run first, whereas now it's definitely pass first. Um, you know, players are bigger, stronger, faster, that kind of thing. Now, oh, there's a pick. So, yeah, Eric Kramer had a phenomenal year this year. He's a good roster offensively. Defense kind of vanilla, and that's part of the reason right there the Bears didn't go to the playoffs this season. They missed it by half game. They finished 9-7. And uh, part of the reason, Donald Wolverton. And he's an excellent, excellent cover corner. He was an excellent Chicago Bear for a lot of years. Um, and when we lost him, we didn't make the playoffs. So there's other things going on. Rashawn Salam right there had fumbleitis. Fumbled the ball quite a few times. I'm going to sub in some folks. Um, Todd Sauerbrown, a rookie punter, had a booming leg. Uh, was shanking punts all over the place. So there were other issues. And uh, just missed the playoffs by half a game. Tragic. Because the offense was... was you know, Kramer was having the best year 
the best quarterback has ever had. Again, he had some year Jay Cutler put up some comparable, some you know, bigger stats, but um, with Jay came the interceptions and everything else in the drama. So I would argue Kramer had the better overall season. Then he couldn't stay healthy and uh, for the rest of his career, and that's why most people know it. Hoop hat! Hoop hat, I say! Great Childress with your BS. Trying to tell me not to run my offense out of the pro set. You go back to Great Childressville. I don't feel like punting, so I'm not going to. The consequences be damned. Inside my own 20 in the first quarter. Oh! Poo! And then I did that. I tell you, the kids these days, the kids 20 years ago. Alright, they got the ball. Jerks. Yeah, the defense uh, was pretty vanilla. Um, the secondary was pretty good this year in 1995. The linebackers were pretty solid. The problem was defensive line. Um, Jim Flanagan came out of nowhere, had a great year this year. Chris Sorge was solid. Uh, Spellman was good. It, it, what they sh the Bears should have done was not drafted Todd Sauerbrunn in the second round pick, a punter in the second round. They should have went and got a defensive end. And John Theory never amounted to nothing. This guy here fought no, was middle on the best. Spellman at his A game was awesome. That guy right there, that's Alonzo Spellman. Obviously, he didn't send the paperwork, so they just had 90 Bears. That's Alonzo Spellman. Was a beast. George Flanagan was solid. Um, guys like Carl Simpson and Al Fonte were good backups, but there wasn't a powerhouse defensive end opposite Alonzo Spellman, and that was a big lack that the Bears had. So three good starters, some solid depth up front, but they needed a defense in that they didn't have. So it just. It was hit and miss, and you could use a little more depth in the back in the defensive backfield. Um, so it was one of those seasons: a player here and a player there, a play here and a play there. Could have been a dramatically. This could have been an 11-5 team that um, challenged the Packers for the division, and they challenged the Packers. They almost beat them uh, at home in Lambeau, uh, but you know. They didn't. <laughs> and it's it was all downhill after that. For Dave Onset was head coach at the time. That's my lecture on history for the Duppers. Who ever since fighting Lovey Smith have been duper. Not the same thing. So alright, let's get some points on the board here. Get some I've been talking offense, let's get some offense. Keith Jennings with a nice catch over the middle tight end. Keith Jennings, big old boy. Big, 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 big human being. A tight end, really good blocker. Uh, you know, solid. Um, middle end receiving tight end, but not a downfield threat. There's Rashani Salam. Rashawn Salam taking off a nice one there. Uh, his big issue, not a great receiver. Back a good uh, inside the tackles pounder. With size and speed, could break off the long runs inside and outside. Um, middle and at best hands. He did work on that when he was a rookie. Uh, he fumbled. And he didn't actually fumble that much. He just fumbled at the worst possible times. Um, and he was aggressive. He's, he's a guy who just needed another year or two in the league. And when this team had their best chance at it, uh, he just wasn't there yet. Uh, he did hold out. He missed some training camp. Uh, injuries forced him into action early. And, um... Ah! They got to him before I get the ball out. I'm going to punt. I'm going to stop talking to you guys and play this game. Oh, there's an injury. So, um... Something here, you know, when you go back and play Tecmo Bowl. Um, and then Tecmo Super Bowl might have been when injuries came in for the first time. So at one point you didn't when this the the first one on Nintendo you didn't even have eleven guys on the field I think there were nine um, you only had three offensive linemen or something like that I'd have to go play together you didn't have fair catches like this guy is gonna do if he's smart and he's not oh oh oops say oops Dingleberry that was stupid stupid move on his part. 
But uh, he didn't have fair catches, and uh, he didn't have injuries, and he didn't have subs. And only a handful of plays. So this is a game that evolved as it went along and evolved into a pretty tight, fun game of play. Um, you know, when you play Tecmo Bowl and Mega Nintendo, and even some like Tecmo Super Bowl, or, you know, a play takes like 35 seconds. A kickoff takes like a large chunk of a quarter for five minute quarters. And so the, it got more realistic as it went within the framework of being a early mid 90s video game. So. Oh well, Tech Neo is popular for a reason, but um, not everybody likes football, and so not everybody gives a crap about a word I've said. <laughs> I'm used to that. I've become accustomed to that. And a lot of times it's probably better off nobody heard what I was saying or thinking. It's John Mangum up there at safety. What's going on with this? Bumbo! And we got it. All right. Gary Brown fumbled. I don't know who forced it or recovered it, which is a game flaw. Hmm. Slums in there with Raymond Harris. This is Slums rookie year, like I said earlier. Raymond Harris was only in his second year. Had a breakout year the, in his rookie year in the year before. And I'm going to have to uh, pick up the pace here. So I'm going to sub in Lewis Tillman. No, he doesn't provide much by way of speed. Chris Gedney's a little bit quicker. Michael Timpson's a good uh, slot receiver. Excellent slot receiver. Let's get some points on the board. Nice uh, pitch and catch. Chris Gedney uh, was a good all-purpose tight end. Made some some highlight plays in his day. Um, just couldn't stay healthy while he was in Chicago. Went to Arizona and played there for a while. I don't know what he did there. I gotta look it up. Nice play by Tim Timpson. has got some speed. Speed to burn. Uh, sadly, Chris Gedney has passed away, and sadly, so is Ryan White Knight and uh, John Fury. So quite a few games. It's 1995. Quite a few of these guys no longer with us, and that's you know Junior Sale. A few guys, that's terrifying. And tragic. Alright. Not a bad play by Lewis Tillman. Uh, one point of, uh, I don't know, controversy, discussion, debate, is um, as fast as you click buttons and select plays, do timeouts really even accomplish anything? And there's no game clock, so, or no play clock, so... Mm, man, my own line ain't doing crap for crap today. Sub for sub, crap for crap. And that's that wasn't the case in 1995. They had really good offense line in there. If you, you tap the uh, B button to throw, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play for it. I'm not kicking no field goals. Sorry, Kevin Butler. Sorry about your numbers. Uh, if you press it lightly, he's going to throw it softly. If you press it harder, he's going to throw him over a bullet. That's twice. This is the fourth down thing has failed for us. And um, In the vein of Dave Wonstead, Dave Wonstead goes, I'll keep doing it. Because he took this. I got John Mangum at free safety, and I don't know why. I like me, my John Mangum. But that's why I don't want him as my starter, is what just transpired there. What's going on here? Now, one flaw that was definitely two, and I think it's still in three, is that if you sub out your starters, yeah, what would, oh my gosh, I lost my carrier at some point, and forgot it happened. That would explain things. Okay. And uh, I don't really have another safety. John Megan, really solid nickel, just he's a small dude. Not a big guy. Doesn't, doesn't land with a bang. But, uh, one of those quick, agile guys that's always around the ball and always just coming up with plays. But not a, uh, a physical presence type of deal. 14 seconds left. They pretty well got a throw this. They could take a shot in the middle and then uh, help them out kick field goal. They just did. It didn't work. 
now it's Hail Mary season. And I'm feeling pretty good about this uh, going into half. Which is quite a way it is. Which is doable. Mm. Yeah, Christian, thank you. Thank you. Oh! Did he not even get tackled there? Holy crap, oh. Alright, well, way to, uh, I was about to be like, yeah, you're not going to bust out the, a touchdown run. He damn near did. Well, not quite, but, you know, he got further than I thought he was going to. Alright, start the second half, kickoff season, let's do this. Mel Gray back there, he was a good return man in his day. No, no Devin Hester, but, uh, but, oh! I gotta see more guys' braces. They keep giving me the football as a gift. Thank you, Mr. Whitey. You talked about me on a video game. Here's a football. Why, thank you, Malbury. Ready. Ready. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, I need points. I need numbers. Oh, Offense has got to uh, find its. It's it's bridges because it doesn't know where they are right now. Two attempts on fourth down, one in the red zone, one in their red zone. Backfired. I'm lucky the score is what it is. I need to get on the board. There's quite more an extensive playbook, but I'm playing a lot of pro set on set. I for me I don't think I have an information down though. There he is. Rashawn Salam. A nice guy. Sadly no longer with us, Rashawn Salam. That's tragedy right there, what happened here. Tragedy. Like I said, Ryan White Knight will isn't on this uh not on this game, but he's on one of the other ones. Um He's gone, Chris gedney has gone, John Theory's gone. Lots of Spellman, so one on the earth. And uh, nothing against him, but if anybody was going to be an early out, it was Alonzo Spellman. And uh, still with us. Way to go, Zo. So defense is holding up really good, uh, despite not having Mark Carrier. As I say that, watch Chris Chandler throw a 60 yard bomb or something. Or get sacked. Hey. Al Fontenot with the sack. He's got five tackles. Al Fontenot. Going beast mode. Early third quarter with your five tackles. Here you go, buddy. Oh, hey, I forgot to talk. Sorry, I was focused on the game. Not that more than two or three people 
anybody who started watching this in the first half here watching it. I am talking to myself in every sense of the word. Nice play, Raymond Harris. Yeah, it's it's been a uh, it's been a snoozer at seven to seven. Not a lot by big plays. O line just not not giving my QB time to get the ball down the field. So I'm trying to run the ball. I guess. Oh, nice. Nice. Sean Salam with a nice one right there. Good go. Alright, let's get some fresh bodies in here for some fresh milk. I'm just going to throw my subs in there. Ready, set. <laughs> oh, Chris gave me wide open. Nobody was with an earshot of that man. Red, 42, red, 42. <laughs> Quarterback attack. Henry Ford. Ah. Go who? Henry. Lewis tell me he's saving so you're the guy who's paid to not be the guy who does that. Lewis Tillman? Blue 43, blue 43. Well, two two uh, capable offenses stuck at seven points of pop. On Cox with that play yeah, almost kind of mitigated some damage there. Simpson on the uh, coming on the outside didn't get there in time but forced to throw maybe throw and that brings up a third and four defendable third and four. Oh my god Steph no I was like get out of my way get out of my way Ron Cox I'm a much bigger human being than you. we're getting down to crunch time they may fake it There's that fair catch. Lewis Tillman, baby. I'm putting Slum back in as soon as it occurs. Finally! A shot downfield and nothing. Ah. I'm running out of gas. I'm falling asleep is what's happening. I gotta go to work here. Three, uh, less than two and a half, two and a half hours-ish. Gotta get out the door. Round 52, round 52. <laughs> then my hair's on the catching one. Nicely done, nicely done. In a 14. Not a big offensive day, but it's anybody's game at this point. That got us away from the end zone. Nice job, play. Round 52, round 52. So this is looking like this has got to be the drive where I get it done. So time is getting short here. Round 52. No, it's going to be short. I didn't make that. Alright, I'm going to try some tried and true. Pump fake downfield and quarterback keep the type of the ball. Unless he's open. And then we got it. Conway. Alright, we're in field goal range. Not a pretty game, not big numbers, but field goal range. Nearing the two minute warning here.
two minute warning. I got Kevin Butler, they got three timeouts. This is gonna be you know, four. I'm gonna go with Raymond Harris to run to the left. And he got it. Oh, he got it and some more. Good place to be. my record on the season is but um, maybe I've lost the game I'm gonna have to look it's been a while since I played this it's uh turning out like a year or anything it was earlier in the winter but uh, it's been a while there we go there we go and could go back to the fall and summer when I started this season so I don't recall officer No, Gray, again. Trying to make up for that fumble, and he did not. Alright, Chris Chandler, you got a minute. You got some timeouts. What do you got? See, that was... One play from scrimmage with his 15 whole seconds, which it wasn't in real life. Twenty-eight. Every play is 15. Every every drop back to pass is 15 whole seconds, which is insane. It's not realistic at all. I've executed that well. They're running the ball. That in this situation, really faithing and hoping to get a pitch toss to the outside to work. Incomplete. Turnover. Turnover run downs. And um, there is no. Uh, you can you can fall to the ground by pressing Y, and you'll just drop to the ground to avoid fumbles and injuries. Um, there is no kneel down in this game. Five yarder for Salam, and that'll do it. A narrow win, but a win, baby. Come from behind? Not for much. Only 135 for the year, but 108 on the ground. I'll take it. Let's get Bears football. So, they sacked the crap out of me. I got sacked four times by just those guys. I got two sacks. Um... Slam 12 carries, 78 yards. Tell me 2 for 15, I had to pull me. Um, not a big day, but an efficient day for Kramer. I'll take it. And then, um, I'm not going to do this now, but let's just check the record. Let's see where we're at. 7 and 0. 7 and 0. Kramer's my guy to care about. Statistically, nobody else is going to have big numbers playing the way I'm playing. Um, 153 quarterback rating, 1,100 yards, about halfway through the season, so probably not going to make a 3,000 yard passing season, but 7-0. So that's it, kids. Um, I hope that one or two people may have seen this and still around watching. Hope you enjoyed it, learned something, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.